Hi, I'm Steve Davies from SteveDaviesFishing.com and today we've got a few spools of the Platinum Braid from Platypus Line 5 pound. It's really super thin. It's only uh, 0.148 diameter. So it's a PE braid and it's really thin. So I'm going to be testing this out in the next few weeks on the fish, on the Australian bass, and we're going to see how we go. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got myself my Daiwa rod, Daiwa reel, and um, I'm going to show you um, a little trick how to spool up the braid. Um, quite easy. Um, one thing I do with my um, reels is I put up quite a bit of backing on it in mono and I only leave about a third of the spool free for braid and I fill that up with braid so uh, you're probably wondering why I got a sock on my hand well it's so I can grab the braid and uh, either a sock or a glove will do the same trick so okay over here I've got a bucket bucket of water. Hot water mind you, very hot. So this will embed the braid onto the spool and I've only filled it up about uh, three inches um, and I'm going to put my platypus platinum braid in five pound into the hot water because what I want to happen when I put the braid onto the spool, I want the spool horizontal not vertical. Vertical for baitcaster, horizontal for a spinning reel. Okay, so that won't make the line twist over if it was that way. So you've got to have it on that way. So in to the bucket of water goes a spool of platypus platinum braid. Beautiful. Okay, and let it sit there for a while, nice and hot. Okay, grab my Diver Procaster X with my Diver Laguna reel, and it's just a matter of just grabbing the line, either with your glove or with your sock, keeping it nice and tight. And basically just keeping the line firm winding her on now there's about 125 yards on this spool so that will surely be enough for any super long cast that I want to do while I'm spooling it on Um, I'm going to just talk to you about the braid. Now, a lot of people say, why braid? Why should they use braid over mono? Well, mono stretches, and braid has zero stretch, so it's better. Um, it's more direct. You can feel whether the timber, or whether it's weed, or whether it's rock, just through the line, through the black braid. Uh, it'll also catch more fish. Um, of course it's got zero stretch, it'll be a lot more direct and you'll have a lot more control over the fish. Now um, I've also already mentioned that the braid is a PE braid so it's a very super thin braid, very fine diameters of 0.48 so very very thin uh, but in saying that it's very super strong it has very very good knot strength the platypus platinum braid it's one thing I've noticed um, because it's the PE braid it comes in two colours we've got a grey which I'm putting on now and there's a high vis yellow as well ok so we're going pretty good here it's um, nearly down to the 125 yards I hope. 
And uh, there we go. All right, false alarm. Nearly there. So this hot water embeds this braid onto the spool, so it really makes it nice and firm and tight there. So I'll just check before we go too far. Now that needs to be level with uh, the spool lip. Okay, I'm getting down to the end. Now I just don't want to go over the spool lip because if I go over the lip uh, it'll create all sorts of problems and it'll loop over and that, so that's nearly there. I might just uh, keep it going just a little bit more because we're down right to the end. We're so close. Last couple of spools, there we go. That's perfect. If anything, I'll probably need to take a little bit more off of that. So. That's my Daiwa Laguna reel, spinning reel, on my Pro Caster Direx, and uh, we're all ready to go and catch the big ones. So, guys, get out and buy some platinum uh, braid from Platypus Lines in five pound. It will be out soon. It's not out yet, um, and I'm going to be testing it in the next couple of weeks. So, this is Steve Davies from Steve Davies Fishing. Good fishing to you all.